So my talk today and during this conference is on video gaming and religion and how we can, uh, in a theoretically informed way, really grab this kind of interrelationship between video gaming and religion. Most of the research is at the moment concentrating on the, um, yeah, on the game content, so to speak, because there are a lot of games who has a lot of uh, religious elements. Uh, yeah, for one famous example is Bioshock Infinite, and where we have uh, this concept of redemption, or where the player or the the, the avatar has to fulfill a baptism or has to be baptized to go further within the gameplay. And I'm now uh, interested in how is the perception of this religious element for the gamers. And in my opinion, we have to differentiate between the different actors involved in gaming. For example, the, the religious gamers who can be disturbed by this kind of religious element. And of course, also the 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 normal, the non-religious or other religious gamers. And in my research it was interesting because I did, uh, I conducted a lot of interviews uh, concerning this game and that the majority of the gamer didn't recognize uh, the, the ritual as such. They of course recognize oh, this has something to do with a Catholic or a Christian ritual, but they don't have the feeling that they're really performing this ritual. They are mostly they criticize um, or they recognize that the, this element, for example, the baptism has to do something for, uh, with churches and power abuse, but they didn't have the really feeling that they're performing a ritual. So for me, it's a kind of indicator that you have to be really careful and also integrate the gamer's perspective and not just to focus on the games. So you have to have both perspectives, so to speak. At the one, um, at the one hand, the, the game content, what is in the game, uh, do we have religious elements? And on the other hand, what do gamers really do with this, uh, with these uh, gaming or with these religious elements. And of course we have to distinguish further elements or further actors involved in the game. For example, the, the video games designers, what were their intention? Was it really explicitly that they are um, using religious element or was it just uh, for example, in the Middle Age, it's quite common that you have a figure like the Pope, and the Pope isn't really nice for, to the people. So do they have just uh, as, a, as a kind of framing or as a decoration, or do they really want to integrate explicitly religious elements? And on, that one, on, uh, on, the, on the other hand, you have, of course, also religious gamers who can, of course, have some problems playing this game, especially the baptism game, who really caused a huge uh, media um, discussion on the relevance and also on if it's right to really integrate these games.